If you think a baseball bat is a pretty simple thing, well, you're out in left field. You've probably heard of and swung ash and maple wood bats, the most common wood baseball bats on the market. But what if I were to tell you there was another emerging wood that is better than both ash and maple combined? Would you give it a shot? Well, I did for the very first time. You'll get to see my impressions of that bat in this video. But before we do, let's talk about the wood billet that bat was laid from the yellow birch. To help you understand why yellow birch is better than ash and maple, we need to take it back to the basics of what every hitter is looking for in a wood bat. Unlike ash, yellow birch is a hardwood, just like maple. This allows the ball to travel further since yellow birch does not absorb the force of the ball as others do. Another important factor is the flexibility of the wood's fiber. The bats that rely on their hardness, like the ones made from maple, do not provide the whip effect that gives an extra little push to the ball once it leaves the bat. Yellow birch offers that flexibility which gives more distance to the ball. Yellow birch possesses two essential characteristics to gather up power, the durability of the wood and the flexibility of its fibers. And well, the makers of these bats, B45, located in Quebec, Canada, often say it's the best of both worlds. So as a longtime ash and maple guy, I needed to give yellow birch a few good swings to see for myself. And not to spoil the rest of this video, but I was very impressed. Yo, what's going on guys? Frisk here today. We've got the B45, the magic says Christian Pache's bat. Uh, we got Jivy and the Gary. Gary, Gearbird272. Could you believe it that this is Jivy's younger brother? You don't have to do that. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna be taking some swings with this today. Have you guys ever swung birch before? Yeah, see, the thing is, looking at this, when I'm looking at it, it looks too pretty. I feel like if I take a good swing at it, it'll disintegrate in my hand and there'll be nothing but ash. But I don't know. It's not ash, it's birch. Nothing but birch. Well, you know what I meant by ash. <laughs> Shout out to the guys at B45 for sending this through. All I know is that I'm taking one big leg kick and I'm hitting it over the net today. Cheese! All right, so once again, the B45 Magic, we'll see how it goes and we'll tell you how good it is after we're done here. Great contact. That's barrel, but... First row of the net. Ding, ding, ding. All right, first time swinging birch ever. I gotta say, I'm really dark, one. Two, I'm pretty impressed. Probably on my best swings and the ball still kind of jumped off this bat. There was one that I pulled down the line. somewhere around here that I didn't think was gonna be the, the best swing I took, but that was definitely, probably had the most exit velo. All right, I'll take a seed. I like it so far. You're like, that's a good shot, and that's like two barrel right there. You can get that off the sweet spot, like halfway up the there. Take that hit all day. I just put it in the gap. I've just been a line drive hitter my whole life. section look at barrel placement on those hits i think the barrel is like right here i'm coming i'm getting jammed just slightly so oppo only gotta, i gotta i gotta do what i did in the victus video and hit an oppo bomb with this that'll be that'll be the dispute oh watch your back there oh get out nope dude 
That's like the third time. Third in a row, like a foot from going out. That one's getting out. There we go. Finally, ding, ding, ding. Ah, maybe. Not barrel, though. You're not getting barrel on your hand fence every time. This might be gone, though. It's a good one to end on, I'll take it. Two oppo bombs, like three or four, a foot from going out. All right guys, we just got done hitting the B45, the uh, Pache. We're gonna hand it to Jivy to do the honorary impression kickoff duties. I am very opinionated, good bat, good, good speed, good weight. It honestly feels kind of light, but not too light to where it feels like a twig. Um, good contact, ball jumped off. I only took a couple swings and I like what I, I like what I saw. I stick I stick to my 7.4. 7.4. Gary, your thoughts? See, I'm not an expert on bats, but when he told me that uh, the true barrel was here as a career uh, right field hitter, as you've seen by some of my swings, you know, I got extension out and it just felt and it landed right there, right in the sweet zone. So it just felt really good. But uh, swinging it and the way I swing, it was a good seven and a half for me, eight. Actually eight, eight for me. So you guys know that the FT23 uh, Tatis's Victus bat is like, number one so far for me right behind that is the old hickory mt27 i mean i didn't expect to hit as good with this today as i did uh, you know i really liked it this thing isn't gonna feel overly heavy it's gonna feel like just a really good balanced bat not too heavy not too light not too long not too short and so uh, I think it's constructed well. Um, I'm gonna give it um, out of 10, knowing that for the Victus I gave it an eight. I'm gonna also give this an eight. So neck and neck with the, the Hickory uh, in the Victus. Uh, all around the board, seven, four, eight and eight gives it a score of, I can't do the math. All right, seven, eight, two, lock it in. We'll find out when when i edit this thing all right guys that's been uh real thanks for tuning into this one make sure you subscribe to jivy plays and where can they find you at gary yeah this He's is a rapper it. check out his soundcloud check out the soundcloud yeah. gb to god on everything you know what we might actually play one of his songs right now hey brian what's up next so next you're gonna have to here we got it the okay bring him in wait brian is that supposed to be gary you sure that's not a jamal being a little early that guy can't be gary he's a neighbor gary sound like the name of your uber driver for gary be that in the little booty brutalizer gary's be your neighbor who is always calling cops but gary be that mugging hole and text her to the ops who that dark skin has some mugging over there that's gary he just hanging keeping his shifters by the pair and now and try to test him while he chilling over there cause gary pretty scared